Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The T-line is a very effective trend indicator. The, uh, as we can see, there was potential buying going on in the oversold area. Bullish Harami, bullish Harami, kind of a support level right here. But the one compelling factor that told us the downtrend remains in progress was the fact that they've never been able to close the markets back up above the T-line. Even though you might think there's ch change coming, you still have to have that final qualification that the bulls are in control. And as you can see, we're still in a downtrend. Stochastic's not heading up yet. This makes for a very logical analysis that if they open the markets lower on Monday, that this level not uh, supporting now became, becomes a wave one, a wave two, going into wave three with more, more, uh, further downside. Same scenario here on the NASDAQ. Bah humbug. Bullish Harami closed just above the T-line on Thursday. But when we woke up Friday, they were selling it off, still indicating we're in a downtrend. There was one little suspicion that they may not be reversing the market just yet. And that was the fact that the stochastics had not yet gotten to the oversold area. So this implied that you still needed to see confirmation that the, uh, uh, the bullish uh, sentiment had changed. So right now, we can see that the mining, mineral and mining stocks, the semiconductors are both still in sh good short situations, and then the biotechs being bought long. So CCJ, for example, you can see how they did a meeting line. Uh, again, they gapped it up and started selling it off in the overbought condition a close below the T-line, there's a gap to fill, and then there's a target. Quite a few of the mineral and mining stocks are selling off right now. Semiconductors and data storage. You can see the bearish best friend after a strong uptrend. Remember what the simple T-line rule is. You can stay long until you see a sell signal and a close below the T-line. And now the strength of the sell signal, a bearish best friend, implies they could be bringing it back down to one of these levels. The biotechs still have some bullish charts in them. Uh, Ruckus, for example, you can see the little best friend gap up wedge J hook pattern. So that's an area you can still be buying. And there's a very simple analysis when you're using candlestick analysis. If you're doing scans, which is very simple, and you're finding more strong down charts or bearish charts than you are bullish charts, the probabilities are pretty strong that the bearish sentiment is still in control of the market. So we've rec recommended uh, three good shorts for Monday. Uh, they look more promising than long positions uh, in this market. So as long as they can't get up above the T-line, and if they open lower on Monday, breaking this level, look for a wave three to the downside. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.